Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I wanted to make a separate video on a really big update for OXO3. Version 1.1 came out today and there's a ton that's new, so we're gonna talk about it right here. If I had to complain about one thing in the first version of OXO3 for iOS 8, it would have to be the slight delay when you activated the quick switcher. It just wasn't instantaneous, but in version 1.1, which is what I'm talking about right now, I'm happy to say that they actually made it a lot better. Now it's not truly instantaneous, like when you click the home button, it goes back pretty much right away. There is a very, very slight input delay still, but I can tell you it's a lot better than in version 1.0, and it makes the experience of using OXO a lot better for me. But there's actually a lot of new features here as well. It's not just fix one thing and a couple other things. There are three or four, maybe even five new features here that I'm super excited to talk about. And number one is a brand new option under the advanced settings sections, advanced setting, advanced settings section called access home screen. When you turn this feature on and you're on your home screen, you can slide in the bottom right corner of your screen and your device will actually go to sleep. I'll do that one more time in case you missed it because the animation is super nice. You don't just swipe up and your screen goes black. But like OXO3 does in many other ways, it's a beautiful animation and slowly swiping up in the bottom right corner of your screen will slowly dim it. It's just a super nice animation and I will definitely be leaving this feature enabled. Next up, you can now view contacts that were previously in the app switcher in the notification center. So for example, there's another option right under here called move recent contacts to NC and with that switch enabled, you can see that when I go into Notification Center now, I've got all my contacts available for me to use right there in the Today view now. Personally, I don't really like where they're positioned, and I guess I'm not a huge fan of these little contact bubbles in the first place, so I'm going to be leaving that option off. Next up, Continuity is available in the Multi Center, meaning that if you have an app running on your Mac that you want to pick up where you left off there on your iPhone or your iPad, you can now do that using OXO3. I guess that feature was left out in version 1.0. Next up under advanced options, I feel like I'm doing a review because there's so much new here, but it's really cool, so I'm gonna talk about it. Under advanced options, you now have the option to open to last app while you're using the quick switcher. So for example, if I just open up the app store, head back to the home screen, when I swipe up for the quick switcher, it's not going to be on the home screen still, but it's gonna be on the app store just like that. I think this is pretty useful. I'm not sure if I'm going to be leaving it enabled, but I think it's really cool that I can go from app to app to app with the brand new open to last app for the quick switcher enabled. Another option that we've got under advanced options, <laughs> the brand new features just keep coming, is called disable double click home. With this enabled, simply you can't double click on your home button anymore, so that when you single click on your home button, it'll go faster to the home screen. On the left is with the brand new option disabled and on the right is with the disable double click home button enabled. So on the left you can see it's noticeably slower when you do a side by side comparison than when you've got disable double click home enabled. Finally there is some improved support for tweaks like grid switcher, polis, and others. There is finally improved iPad support for the multi center. It was really messed up at for, for a while. Very glad to see that that was fixed. There's better iTunes radio support, fixing of iPhone 6 plus visuals and assets. Fix the iOS camera grabber issue on the lock screen, so for those of you who were experiencing that, this is good news to hear that that has been resolved. And finally, various bugs and other crashes have been fixed. Guys, that is OXO3 version 1.1. For more Cydia content, make sure you subscribe here to my channel. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. Have a fantastic weekend, guys. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.